Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed night tonight. Give him glory. Give him honor. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to get straight into my text. Do you read um, what I have on the screen? It says, remember good cop, bad cop, good plant, bad plant. God says one to you. I'm just going to get straight into it. The devil is here. Uh, and I'm, I'm so full of the Holy Ghost. It's been like this since the 40 day fast. And honestly, I went through um, some something today, and it was ugly. I'll be honest with y'all. And I have to forgive. We have to forgive people. But I'm telling you right now what God keeps telling me, and this is what actually um, kind of like makes me feel sorry for people. When you read that Bible, and, and let's just say in life, you remember when things used to take a long time to come back around? It don't take long anymore. You can say what you want to say. God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Now, I know they have a lot of people that pay people back. And if you really look even at their life, they always get what's coming to them, unfortunately. Come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere with this. There's a lot of people. You're selling your brother and sister for naught. Woe unto you, said the Lord. They playing us against each other. I'm telling you, y'all better stop doing everything for money. I'm, and that's why I say, remember good cop, bad cop? They'll try to play. They'll, first of all, they work in teams. I'm I'm, I'm going to tell y'all how the elite work. They work in teams. And also, they'll pay people in teams. And people do almost anything for that money. As a matter of fact, if you don't believe me, I don't want you to go research this. In China, they're making money off of Christians. What they're doing is they're paying um, friends of Christians to say, look, we want you to spy on them. We want you to tell me what they're doing, who they're talking to. And I'm going here tonight. I'm going here. Oh, I feel the power of God. Let me tell you why all this is happening. They want to, okay. Oh God, I feel you. Okay. Back, if you read your Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, what happened is how they gathered Jesus and all the Christians. You remember when Paul, before he was converted, Saul? Well, here's what happened. They were gathering the Christians. They had to ride all over the world on those camels and donkeys. Well, now they're using technology. Y'all better listen to me. This ain't no game. And and I'm telling you how real it is. Every last person that's when the sound of my voice, you don't have to believe me, but I want you to make a mental note of what I'm saying to you tonight for when the times come. You know, one thing I never asked for is what this powerful gift that I have. It's powerful. It, it scares me sometimes. Truth be told, y'all don't hear me. God God have never lied to me. I made a mistake one time. I ain't going to lie. But God ain't never lied to me. Just wait on it. And all I'm telling you is technology right now. That's how every Christian, I need y'all to hear me tonight. You're on a list. If you're a true Christian, you already red flagged. Because when they start martial law, and world order, they come into every true Christian and you will be in FEMA camps. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but prepare your hearts and your minds. The forerunners, they already have a surveillance. Y'all ain't ready for me. That's why I can't just be with anybody because he ain't going to be able to take it anyway. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're going to have to be a soldier. Y'all ain't ready for me. That's why I don't roll with friends because if you're weak, you're going to take that money and turn me in. I just said something and nobody playing. This has been my my story since 2014. I could tell y'all some stories and and got proof. And and guess what? Got witnesses. Y'all ain't ready for me. It's been very hard, but I ain't scared. And God keeps me. Hallelujah. He keeps me. So so hold on. Because I don't want y'all to get in fear. It's not about fear. It's about faith. I hear God saying, be strong, Deanna. You know what they have to do. He said, I let them do it to Jesus. Who are you? He said, but be strong. Hallelujah. Y'all, y'all, this ain't no game. You got to have the power of God to be able to do this, honey. Because I ain't scared of them. Uh, it's so much activity, it'll make y'all hate spin. I ain't even lying. So let me stick to my subject at hand. I want y'all to Google what they're doing in China. They are selling plant, plant money. I call it plant money. All right. Good plant, bad plant. Sometimes it's teams. One of them, you know that they are a plant because they ask you weird things. They follow. I mean, it's just weird. You just, the vibe is weird. But not only just the vibe, the spirit of God will tell you, watch them, don't trust them. Then I call it the good plant. That's the one that act like your friend, knowing the whole while that they end on it with the bad plant. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm talking about this for a reason. I don't just get up on here. I don't waste my time. Hallelujah. And so I want to read a scripture for those that do such things. When the morning was come, um, I'm in Matthew 27. And when the morning was come, 
all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus. They did it to Jesus, you guys. You think they're not going to do it to us to put him to death? Verse 2. And when they had bound him and they led him away and delivered him into Pontius Pilate, the governor. 3. Verse 3. I'm Matthew 27, verse 3. Then Judas, which had betrayed him when he saw that he had was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of of silver to the chief priests and elders. Now everything is in money. Everything is in numbers. Y'all notice it was 30 pieces of silver. Y'all notice when Jesus Christ started his ministry, it was 30 numbers or something else. The elite work in numbers, God work in numbers. I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. And then verse four, he's saying, saying, I have sinned in that I've betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See that thou do to it. So even after they know what they've done. He already knew Jesus hadn't did nothing. But you remember when he kissed him? He said, you betrayed me with a kiss. So, I'm so serious. <laughs> Whoa, boy. Let me tell y'all while I get up on here. When I have a subject like this, that means I'm going through it. I see him. I know who they are. I know what they're doing. And he's been doing it for months. And I'm watching them. Now, I'm going to be very transparent on this live. My flesh, I want to snap and let them know who I used to be. Y'all don't hear me. I'm just being real. But I digress because I'm a Christian. I love the Lord. God said, don't worry, Deanna. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And then I think about, I'm about to say something powerful. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm serious. Count the cost when you come against a child of God. I've stated this before and I'm stating this again. This is not to glorify because God does not like that. As a matter of fact, when God is, is actually paying people back, he said, don't, don't glory in it because I'll turn it on you. There's three people that have died messing with me. And I'm saying it just like that because the truth before God, go to God. I know people don't like to hear stuff like that. I'm saying something. It could be you. Y'all have forgotten that scripture. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Can I tell you it's a dangerous thing to plot and plan against a woman or man of God. Now I'm going here. I'm going here tonight. I got to tell y'all this. I'm telling you I got to. Because some of you are going to go through it. If not now later I promise you. There's two files on you. FBI, CIA, DEA. There's a file that has everything you've ever done in this world. And it's true. Then there's a fake file. The fake file is kind of gassed up to make people believe that you maybe you robbed the bank or something, you know. So you got to understand how they do plans. They'll show people that fake file. So that scare people. Now, remember, they showing a CIA, FBI badge, DEA badge, and they showing that fake file. Shoes, you might find, well, I'm helping the government. I'm helping them. You know when something real, your spirit attests to it. But then with fear come in first, oh, yeah, I'll do it. I'm making that money. And plus, I'm helping out. You better go to God and ask if this is real against that person. Oh, I'm telling y'all some good information. Like I said, you ain't got to believe me. I just want y'all to remember what I'm saying tonight. That's two files on every Christian. Y'all better understand what I'm saying. Hallelujah to his name. Ain't nobody playing. And anybody that don't know my background, when I was in college, I worked for the FBI. I know some things. Hallelujah. Y'all don't understand. I'm trying to tell y'all something. <laughs> if you are a true Christian doing this thing the way God said, you got two files. So do not be dismayed if your friends turn on you. Do not be dismayed if they sell you for naught. Do not be dismayed and you'll feel it. Because God going to tell you. God going to tell you. It's all good. Yes, it'll hurt you. Yes, you will cry. Yes, you will want to get in the flesh and, and whip up a couple of people. But you can't do that. Let God, let go and let God. And I'm saying that because sometimes it get hard. Sometimes it get hard. But I want to encourage you. Jesus is with you all the way to the end. He'll never leave or forsake you. And remember they did it to him. I just read it. Matthew 27. If ever this happens to you. Just meet Matthew 27. And say they did it to Jesus. As a matter of fact. Let me leave you with this. He said they hated me. So therefore they will hate you. So whenever people. And I need y'all to hear me tonight. Whenever Christians are loved by the world. I'm looking at you side eye. Because my Bible says that the world love its own. Ooh y'all ain't ready for me. I know it's tight but it's right hallelujah to his name god is good god is good 
And so, yes, 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 honey, you have to be careful because let me tell you something. I just say things sometimes, but I would never would, would no. Now wait a minute. I if somebody trying to hurt me, I, I I don't know. I'm being real with you, but just inducing violence, you know, because you mad or you hurt or you see through people. No, we don't have that authority. What we do have the authority is to say, God says, when you pray, it heaps coals of fire over their head. I'm 51, and everyone that ever did me something, I watched it happen. And to be honest with you, I felt sorry for them because we do not get, you you're not you don't have the authority to say, oh, that's good for them. That's witchcraft. You're not supposed to wish none bad on nobody. I don't care what they do, and that's just real talk. Yes, it's hurtful. Yes, it's disappointing. But I'm, telling, I'm trying to tell you all about plants. This stuff is real. I'm seeing it more and more with Christians and Christian friends. You see, People are hurting for money, and they don't know what's filed on you is real, so they're taking that money. So this is a warning to y'all that take that money. Be careful, said the Lord, because if you come against a child of God and they have done nothing, oh my God, God has to backlash you. So just remember it was told to you. For those that take the money and for those that, hey, they sold you for not. Be strong and of good courage, said the Lord. All right, you guys. Love you guys. God bless you. God keep you. I know. I ain't lying. It get hard sometimes. I can lie to you. But guess what? I love God too much. You know, so I, I can't turn back. I won't turn back shoes. Let me tell you something. There's nothing they can do to me that haven't already been done. So with that, I just stay strong in the Lord and keep on going. We don't get in fear. We get in faith. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Remember, and, and I keep saying this little saying because I want to get it in your spirit. Remember me like Jesus. The reason why you say it like that, you really did trade place with Jesus. So me like Jesus. Be strong like he was. Go to that cross. Carry your cross. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, you're going to have a Judas. As a matter of fact, that's when you know you have an assignment. If you ain't got no Judas, then you ain't in your assignment. I just said something. Somebody write that in the comments. If you haven't met your Judas yet, then you ain't in your assignment. Mm. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. God bless. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.